Hello and welcome to the Sophie Slim Basic Blog Design Series. Uh, welcome, it's nice to have you here. Last week I showed you how to create a really simple header for your website or blog. And today uh, I'm going to show you how to create sidebar buttons. It's really the same method, uh, just a few little different things and different ways of uploading it. Um, but you will need two things today. You will need to know the width of your sidebar button that you want to create. Uh, there's two options you could go for. You could go for a custom built one, which is sort of like what I've got here on the right hand side. Uh, it takes up the whole width of my sidebar. I think it looks pretty good. And uh, I've made it in particular for my website. Otherwise you could do a default size, which is like the sisterhood button here. Uh, that is a really good option um, if you are wanting to share your button with another website. So you would put the code there for people to grab and that way you know it's going to fit on their sidebar. Generally uh, buttons that you share are this sort of size. So you've got two options. Uh, one a custom, two a default. If you're doing the custom and you want to know the width of your button, what it needs to be, head to my blog and I show you how to do that using your header. So you can use the same method to figure out your button size. I've put the link to my blog in the description to this video. So once you've got those two things, uh, head over to pickmonkey.com and we're going to be uploading your photo that is going to be the main image on your button. Uh, head over here to the left hand side, edit a photo and uh, we're just going to upload our photo. Uh, you could use a photo or an image online. Uh, so the main thing is we're just going to keep things really simple. There's a few things I need to do to this image first of all uh, to prep it like I did last week. I'm just going to change the exposure. I'm just going to bring down the brightness and the contrast. Uh, just because it is a very busy image you might not necessarily need to do this. Um, but once we put text over top of it we really want the text to stand out. I'm also going to resize this image using the percentages. I'm just going to cut it um, basically in half, which will, uh, it's just going to make all those little images appear so much bigger. So when we do put text over the top of them, you know, the, um, there's not like a bazillion little houses in the background, basically. So once you've done that, or you might not need to, head over to crop, which is right at the top. Uh, so this is where the size of your button comes in. So if you're doing a default size that you want to share with people, I recommend you do 160 pixels by 160 pixels. So you just go ahead and enter that in. And that's going to create this, um, oopsies, that's just going to create this little square box, which you can then drag and drop around your image. Uh, but today we're going to go with a custom one for Miriam. Uh, we've already figured out the width of her sidebar. It's 240 pixels. And I've chosen 100 pixels to go for the height. I think it's going to look quite nice having lots of um, rectangles on top of each other. So we're just going to drag and drop and choose a part of this fabric to go with. I think that little house is pretty cute. So we're going to hit apply and that's going to cut that whole image down. If you are making multiple of these blog buttons using a large piece lay we've just done, I suggest saving it up here going backwards and then redoing all those steps um, because then when you get lots of different uh, buttons on top of each other they're not all exactly the same image you're not doing duplicates they'll be slightly different so in this example she might have a little house over here and one and you know a little church over there and another uh, that's just a handy wee hint for you so I'm happy with that being cropped then head over here on the left hand side this is where you do all your basic edits there's lots of cool things you can play around with, but today we're just going to add text. So you hit the P, and then up here type what you would like to appear. Uh, <clears throat> today we are doing Becoming the Mother I Want to Be's blog button. So then type it in there, choose your font. I'm going to go with Loves to Two because that's what we created for Miriam's header. So it's just all going to tie in. Hit Add, and it will appear over here. You can drag and drop it. You can change the size and you can change the color. Once you're happy with it, hit enter. But for this color, I am just going to do um, a specific color. I've got the color code here. 
uh, because we created Miriam's header with the same color code. So if you're doing multiple buttons again, what I suggest is choosing a color and copying and pasting that code up the top. That means all your buttons are gonna have exactly the same color in them. So once you're happy, hit enter and the little X and that will drop it right onto your image. I'm gonna add a tagline on this particular one um, because new readers might not know what becoming the mother I want to be is about. Or they might not know what BMW B means. <laughs> Mother I want to be. There we go. And I'm just going to choose a plain font and hit add because I just want it to be a little tagline just so people get a little gist about it. So I'm changing the size. I'd make that a teensy bit bigger. Oop. There we go. And once again, I'm going to enter my same color code in here so that they are exactly the same color. Hit enter. There we go. Perfect. So that is our new blog button. I'm going to hit save up here. I'm going to change the name of it so it's easy to find. Save photo. I'm going to save it to my desktop because we're going to use it straight away. So the monkey says saved. Perfect. Head over to your blogger or WordPress layout and add a gadget or a widget. That's over here on the right hand side. I'm just going to open up this box with lots of different options. Have a play around and see what you can create. Uh, but there's two main ones that I use. That is the HTML or the picture. Uh, if you know the code, go for it and do that. But today we're keeping things simple. So we're just going to add a picture and use our blog button like that. Make sure shrink to fit is unchecked and choose your file. Once again, I saved mine to my desktop, so I can upload that straight away. While that uploads, this is, uh, I've jumped over to Miriam's blog here, and we've used her tags uh, to find her becoming the mother I want to be posts. So every time she tags, Miriam tags one of her blog posts with BMWB, uh, it's going to be put onto this page. So we're just going to copy uh, this URL address up here. And then we're going to go back to our little box, which is all uploaded. Yes, that's our image. And then we're going to paste that web address in the link box there. Uh, and we're going to hit save. Saving. Perfect. So we've gone back to our layer, and as you can see, this picture has appeared there. You can drag it and drop it and change the order it's in. I think having something about your About Me up the top is really good. Something about your followers underneath that and anything else following it. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to leave it there and save it. Uh, yes, for some reason, my blogger is playing up right now. So I'm heading over here. This is Miriam's blog. And this is something I've prepared earlier. So I've already made these buttons. And I've linked them just like we did before. So when you click on any of these, uh, they will take you to different parts of Miriam's blog, which is very cool. So her readers can get to know her and what she does a little bit more. So that is uh, the image we just created then. That's how easy it is to upload, and I know that you can do it yourself as well. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment. I would love to help you out in any way. Uh, but today, if you want to head over to my blog and upload or send me any of your blog buttons that you have created yourself, I would love to showcase them on my blog for the month of July. Uh, so head over there and show me what you've created. And don't forget to enter my giveaway to have your own header or blog button created for you. Thanks for listening to Sophie Slim.